Hello friends, welcome to another video of slide scope related to data analysis and data visualization. In this case, you will learn how to use Anaconda's Jupyter Notebook for R programming language. So you can download and install Anaconda software and then you can open Anaconda Navigator as you can see here. Although in Anaconda Navigator we have R Studio. You can install R Studio directly also, but sometimes some people don't like using this particular interface of R Studio. So, whatever for whatever reasons, if you don't like R or don't like R Studio for plotting graphs and viewing things, you can use Anaconda Navigator. Anaconda Navigator offers Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Lab, which by default we can use for Python language. Now in this video you will learn how you can do it for R, R language. So what you have to do, you have to go to the environments part, this environments tab and yet here you have to create a new environment for R language. Now click to create here, you can see click create here this will bring this particular simple window here here you have to write the name of your environment you can write any name I am going to write R language or whatever you can call it so I will name the environment as R tutorial again here I will check R and you can see this drop down from drop down I will choose R so we can remain python as selected we can remain r as selected and from the drop down i have selected r so till now we just run anaconda navigator in anaconda navigator we navigated to this environments tab in environments tab we clicked on create and then you can type the name of your environment and then you can Keep Python as checked, keep R as checked and from this drop down you can choose R. For Python you can choose the default version which you want to use. So then you can simply click create here and when you will create here, wait for it. You can see the this loader running, load icon running and it is creating this environment for you. You have to create, uh, you have to wait for some time here. So guys, now you can see after taking some time, this R tutorial environment is now installed. Remember, uh, it will take some time. So whatever you are doing, if you are trying to install it, so you can pause this video and then when this environment is created, you can come back later and then you can proceed with the next part now once you have this installed once you have this environment installed so what you can do you can click on this arrow and you can select this open with jupyter notebook now select it will take it will open some command prompts and things like that and it will come up with Jupyter Notebook in your favorite browser and if it is not opening so you can copy this particular URL which is URL of the local host it has a port and a token and in, in the browser any particular browser you can open it and then it will open your Jupyter Notebook now you can click on new and you can create a new folder in that new folder so a folder name untitled will be created and now you can rename this untitled folder again it's your choice whether you want to rename it or not so we will write our notebooks you can write anything now I have named it as R notebooks 
so that my python notebooks and r notebooks are separate from each other now i am in my r notebooks folder again you can name it anything i am telling you now if you will click new so you will see r here so in in the notebook section you will see r click on r and this will simply open r for you now you can see the icon has changed previously you were seeing python or you must have seen python i will name it first r notebook on anacondas rename it let's try a simple code here print so now you can see as an output of r we have got this let's simply try to create a, a string here so this is my string hello world and now we will print my string now you can see the output so now it becomes easier to run the r code on jupyter notebook and now you can use it this way so what you just have to do in your anaconda navigator go to home go to environment here create a new environment name it anything it will be stored inside the program data folder and anaconda 3 as per your computer's version and then after some time this notebook uh, this particular environment will be created now whenever you have to run this environment you can run it with this and again then uh, you can either open you can in the folder that you have so you can either open r notebook here and you can go here and if you want to open a python 3 notebook so you can use a python 3 notebook also so now it's become it becomes easy to program and learn both python and r because in most of the organizations in most of the cases uh, for data science or machine learning python and r knowledge of both languages is demanded if you are learning only r then also this thing will help you in uh, running r on jupyter notebook i hope you have liked this video thanks for watching have a nice day